What's up SaaS Masters, my name is George and today I want to show you an investment platform called eToro. This video is going to be jam packed with tips and how to actually use eToro. So by the end of this video, you should understand how to actually use eToro and also decide if this is an investment platform that you want to use or skip on it. Let me start off by saying that I'm not being paid to make this video and I'm doing it because I actually like eToro and I'm actually using it. And no, I'm not trying to sell you any course or any, any BS like that, all right? So let's get started with the basics. And if you want to skip this part, you could jump to the section where how to, how to use eToro in this minute. Okay, the basics of eToro. What is eToro? Like I mentioned before, it's an investment platform. One of the cool features about eToro is that you can invest partial amounts of a stock. They call the stock units. So you, if a unit costs $1,000 or $5,000, you can invest in partial amounts. So for example, I just want to invest $25, $50, $200, or thousands of dollars, right? That's one of the cool features. Another cool feature about eToro is that if you don't know how to invest, you can actually copy people. So for example, if you copy someone that has, I don't know, a big portfolio of 10 stocks that they're investing in, well, if you invest with that person, you're actually investing the same amounts as they are. So if you invest $2,000, it's gonna be divided in those investments that that person is do doing. But if that copier sells or buy, it's gonna do the same thing for you. And if that person wins or loses money, well, same thing's gonna happen to you. So that's something you have to check out. We will be viewing that at, in this video, all right? Now, another thing that you have to consider is that if you invest right here, there's two ways of doing it. You can do it like they have a real dashboard and they have a virtual dashboard. The real one is where you actually put in money and the minimum amount is $50 to get started. And the minimum investment on most stocks is $25. And there's a virtual section where you can play around. They give you $100,000 of virtual money so you can play with it. So you can invest, start testing. And that is something I really recommend for you when you get started. Play with the virtual account, invest, see how it works out. Copy some of the users so you understand how that actually works. But I will be showing you how that works too. But there's a lot of things that we will be talking in, about in this video. And one of the big tips I wanna give you is don't buy brands because you love them or because you think they're cool. And I'm talking about because, hey, I'm gonna buy Apple, um, I don't know, uh, Tesla, and those kind of big brands because they're name brands. It, does, it doesn't mean it's gonna make you a lot of money or that they're always gonna make you money. Sometimes you lose money. And the real game changers where you win a lot of money is with different kind of stocks. And I will be showing, that, uh, showing you all of that also. Let's go jump over to the platform and keep giving those tips. Let's go jump over right now. Okay guys, let's get started with the eToro dashboard. And I know it seems overwhelming at the beginning, but it's actually pretty simple and you're gonna understand this by the end of the video. Let me start off with what I told you before. There's a real and a virtual section. The virtual section is exactly the same and you can play around with it and you can view it right here. You got the real here and you got the virtual portfolio there. Like I said, now we're on the virtual one, same, and you get allocated $100,000 to play around with, with virtual money. Hope that was real, but it's not. And you can invest in stock and you can sell, do everything. This is the portfolio for this one. And it's pretty good that you get started here because you're gonna understand how stock actually um, behaves and how, for example, you copy someone, how what, what could happen if you say, you know what, if I would invest in Facebook, what could have happened? Well start investing here on the virtual one. And if you have a kid that you want him to learn or he's interested in this, but you're not willing to risk money right now, well, have them play around with this. I mean, it's a really good idea. And you see if they do really well, well, you should invest, all right? Let's go now to the real version. Okay, this is the real watch list. I know there's a lot of numbers, but it's pretty simple. We have the markets, which are companies, cryptos, Forex, and all that, okay? For example, Tesla, Neo, Apple, Amazon, Alibaba, etc. We got the percentage change. We got the graphic, for example, for changes during the day, week, and month. See how that changes? Day, week, month. So you actually use these measurements to understand how a company does. Next in review is the sale price, buy price, the range of the price in those 52 weeks, and the sentiment, are people buying, they're selling, what's going on? For example, oil, 59% selling. So that means people are worried of something there. They might know something or the stock is going down, so people are selling out. So this is information that helps you decide to invest or not in a company. Now on the bottom, we have some numbers. This is the real money. I have available $153.78 to purchase stock. That's available. 
And then I have $193 total allocated. So that's stock that I have purchased and you will view those now in, in a bit. Um, the profit for those $932 allocated is $13 and my total equity, $1,100, okay? On the left, we have the menu. First, we have our profile. If you guys would like to follow me, it's like a social media. I mean, you can comment, stuff like that and tag. I will leave that link in the description. If not, just type in this name and you'll find me, all right? Now, before I jump into the menu, let's go first into one of the stocks so we go in depth, all right? Let's go into NEO. I like NEO because I actually saw NEO, their, their agency. They're in China, it's like electric cars, just like Tesla, and they're pretty high quality, all right? So what's going on with NEO when you open it up? First off, we have the feed. People are commenting, you can see what information there is, what are people saying, there's random stuff and there's some stuff that has to do with NEO. And you will understand like people saying things are they're predicting what's going to happen and a lot of news. My investment, a small graph right here, the followers, the investors, related markets and investors, all right? Next, let's go into the good stuff, the stats. This is really important stuff that you have to view before deciding to buy a stock. Um, let me start off by saying, don't buy stock just because it's a famous brand, because first of all, you don't earn a lot with those type of stocks because they go up a little and not a whole lot. Plus, they tend to go down also, but don't buy them just because they're named brands. If you really want to make a lot of money, try to find those stocks where they're actually like dropping low and then you buy where they're low and just they go high, race. And I'll show you one in a bit. <clears throat> okay, so NEO, I've purchased NEO and sold NEO like two, three times because I take the profit and then I buy when it goes low. But there's a graph right here. We can view what's going on by day, by week, by month, and view those graphs how they're actually doing. In the graph on the bottom, we have the time. In this case, it's time. In the week, we're gonna view the dates. And on the right, we have the money, all right? And then we have the overview right here. Previous close, how much did it close for? $40.90, which is what it's right now because the market is closed right now. Day range from today was 40.30 to 42.35, all right? That was a range of those prices going up and down. 52 week range, average volume, one year return, that's a lot of percentage, beta, market cap, ratio, revenue, EPS, and dividend, all right? Next information we have is a financial summary. These are all things that you have to view and analyze to understand if this is something you want to invest in or not. Next thing we have the chart in a bigger form. You can view how it's been um, the days right here. We can zoom out and zoom in just to view closer or larger. And then we have the research. Research is kind of like prediction, what people are predicting is going to happen. So for example, not all companies have this prediction. Most of the famous ones do have, right? So you have the analyst consensus right here. There's a strong buy right now. The analyst price target. So they're saying the highest estimate is gonna go to $81. So if you buy now at $40 and they estimate it goes to 81, well, it's gonna double the investment there. And the in-between prediction, $59, and the lowest prediction, $38. This is good because sometimes you buy or sell, depending on this, like what they're thinking. And that this helps you. Analyst rating right here. Highest fund activity, what's going on there. These are the big investors, $60.53 million. And the insider transactions. All this helps you decide. And what happens if you wanna buy Neo, right? Let's go into trade. Right now, the market is closed. So you have to buy, for example, at market price. So what does that mean? When the market opens, it's gonna buy at whatever price it is, right? And I'm telling it I want to buy $100 of this stock or thousands, whatever you want, right? But in this case, $100. And it's gonna buy it at whatever rate when it opens, okay? But if you want to make an order for a lower amount, this is super useful and this is what I use. Let me take it. This is what I use. Why? Because it lets me buy stock at a lower price, but if the price doesn't reach that low, it'll never buy it. So let's take for example, right now it's $40.91. But I'm thinking, hey, you know what? If this goes lower than 39, then I want in. I want to buy those $100. And you set the order. So if that stock ever reaches $39, it's gonna buy it automatically. Now heads up, those $100 that I allocated, 
it takes it away from my funds that are available. No, they don't give you credit. They don't give, they don't, they don't help you in that sense. You have to actually put the real money there and it takes it away so you don't use it on another stock, right? So it's set as the order. And I'll show you an order I have made <clears throat> right now. Okay, let's go to that order. It's gonna be in my portfolio. This is what I have invested. Let's go first to the pending order. This is an order I made. I want to buy EDU. I want to invest $50 and I wanted to buy it when it goes as low as $9. Right now it's $9.32 and this is the difference as of now. And I set a stop loss also. I'll show you what stop loss is a bit. If I want to cancel this order, click on it and the investment goes to the available. So I would have 200 bucks if it goes back. Let's go back to my portfolio. This is what I have invested right now. I'm copying, for example, a person called Wesley. To copy a person, you must invest at least 500 bucks, all right? And I'm earning $6.40. And honestly, I will stop uh, following people because I can make more money with my predictions than whatever they are investing. Now, there's a lot of people you can copy, including me, if you like. Just go to my profile and you can copy me. Um, I made $6.39. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I invested in Nikola Corp, uh, 50 bucks and I'm making $4.17. So that's more than I'm winning with 500 bucks. If I would invest the 500 bucks in my predictions like these, like Neo AMD, and I also had a Airbnb, but I sold off because I took the profit, then I'm making better money than copying someone. So just a heads up. How does this work? We have the copier or the company, the units. So for example, in this case, a unit is worth, for example, right now, $16.87 and I invested it when I bought it at $15.59. So what does that mean? I have 3.21 units. Now in the case of AMD, that stock is 80 bucks and I invested 50. So I have a partial unit for it. That's the cool part about eToro, that you can invest partial units or whole units. Okay, the investment, the earnings, the percentage, the value, the sell price, and the buy price. Now, important stuff, go into one of these stocks, all right? Again, we see more information, amount, units, open, current, and this one I recommend that you set it, all right? Which is stop loss. Do it for every stock that you buy. This will minimize the risk factor. What does that mean? Let me show you how it works. Right now the stock is $16.89. And I'm telling eToro that if this stock reaches, if it goes down to $16.24, sell, all right? So I don't wanna go lower, I don't wanna lose money. And if I sell at this price, I'm still earning $2.80. But this could be working, working another way, okay? Let's just say I'm investing in long term. So I don't mind if Nikola goes up, goes down to $13. I'm willing to take that risk because I know someday they will go up, right? So I can set it to $13. So I'm giving it a bigger margin, but I'm still keeping it safe because I'm not gonna lose all my money or if it drops to $7, I'm not gonna lose as much, right? And the same thing goes the other way around, the take profit. So if this, for example, I'm thinking, you know what, Nikola could go up to 100 bucks. So I'm saying, take the profit if it goes up to 100 bucks. I don't think it'll go higher than that, so I'm willing to take the profit now at that price if it reaches. And that profit would amount to $270 from the 50 bucks that I have invested, all right? Just to give you an, an idea. Set the stop loss, don't skip that. If I wanna sell off the stock, click on X, it's gonna sell the stock right there, okay? Next thing we have is the news feed. Um, eToro is like a small social media. There's also comments, likes, um, you can tag people and all that good stuff, right? So you guys wanna follow me, there's a link in the description and that's gonna be there. Next thing we have, trade markets. If you don't know what to invest, well, you can check out the markets right here, or you can actually search for markets available there. So for example, I don't know, just type MX, and these are markets, and you can also view people, all right? So USD to MX, and I can view it and see what's going to happen. If not, here in trade markets, there's things like market movers, technology markets, ETFs, crypto coins, um, inset, indices, commodities, major currencies, and just check them out and you can buy from there. Next thing is the copy people, all right? There's a bunch of people that you could copy from, like I said before, minimum investment, 500 bucks, and you can see what their risk factor is, what the return is in at least a year. Well, that's what they made last year, return, and the return right now. 
So cop copiers have been, been doing that well, like 0.55%, 4.59%. Um, this one's a negative, negative. And you can view what their portfolio is. So if I go into Richard, I can view what's going on. So here's some red. And I can view, okay, this guy is invested in this. All right. Interesting. You can analyze all that good stuff and decide if you want to copy that person or not. Okay. Some invest in cryptos, some invest in stock, some in money, and you can decide at the end of the day. Invest in copy portfolios. So these are like uh, bundled portfolios and you can copy these also. And you can see the risk factor. For example, these are crypto portfolios and there's a, obviously a risk factor, but there's a big return for that. But you can also lose a lot. Like recently, crypto, I mean, Bitcoin was reaching $62,000 and two, three weeks ago, it reached $30,000, like half price. So you can lose a lot or you can win a lot. So just keep that in mind if you want to invest in cryptos. Next thing, there's an eToro club. You have to invest at least $5,000 to become one. Invite friends, help, withdraw funds. There is a $5 commission to withdraw funds. Keep that in mind. Um, the settings, well, obviously, basic settings there. Let me show you the cryptos now. So for example, I've created this portfolio. Some cryptos are here, for example, Bitcoin, but I created a different watch list for cryptos. So if I just want to view cryptos, I can view them right here. So for example, let's go into Bitcoin. What's going on? Let's go into the stats. And for example, see how much it dropped here and how high it went. So this is in six months, three months. See how it dropped drastically. So these guys were reaching $60,000, $64,000. And it dropped here, for example, $32,000. I think it's the lowest. But things you have to consider with cryptos. I mean, you can earn a lot or you can lose a lot. And basically, that is the eToro platform. You understand how the dashboard works, how the money works, how to buy, how to sell. Well, if you want to sell, I'll show you over here, portfolio. You can go open here and close the sale, close trade, which I'm not going to do right now, but that is how you do it. Well, I think this, I hope it was pretty useful for you guys. And like I said before, this is not for selling you anything. And if you guys found this information helpful and do let me know if you like this video and let me know if you're using other type of investment platforms or if you like me to do other type of videos that are close to this one or similar to this one. So let me know in the comments. I thank you all for watching. My name is George. This is SaaS Master and I'll see you guys later.